Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video, we are going to create this Logitech logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. And if you want to learn more about logo animation in depth, then don't forget to check out my Udemy course, links are available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. First of all, here we are in Adobe Photoshop. Now I have this Logitech logo. You can choose any logo you want, but make sure that it has only one color like black or white or something because this animation is only for black logo or white logo. Okay, then I'm going to select my rectangle selection tool and I'm going to select this L first. I'll hit Ctrl X. I'll create a new layer and I'll press Ctrl Shift V to paste in place. I'll double click and I'll call it as L and I'll hide this. Similarly, I'm going to copy this O, hit Ctrl X, create new layer, press Ctrl Shift V, double click and let's call it as O. Select this G or instead of that, I'm going to select this much portion, hit Ctrl X, new layer, press Ctrl Shift V and let's call it as G. Add this, select this portion, hit Ctrl X, create new layer, press Ctrl Shift V and let's call it as G again. Add this, then select this uh, circle hit ctrl x create new layer press ctrl shift v let's call it as i let's call it as i again then we will select this t and let's call it this last as h okay so uh, this is how you can create each and every element on separated layer then we will go to the after effects we will create new composition we will call it as main animation as always we do width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 30 and background color is white color and simply hit ok go to choose grid and guide option simply hit on titles section press ctrl i select this photoshop file import as instead of footage i'm going to choose composition return layers and sizes and simply hit import and hit ok then double click to open this we will select all of these layers i'll hit ctrl c go over here hit ctrl v right click new and create one null object hit ctrl a simply select all of them and make it apparent with this null select this null press s and let's decrease the scale somewhere around like this and we will delete this null object now hit ctrl a to select all of them and let's try to adjust them properly at the center somewhere around like this okay this looks good now this is the stuff that we need to animate so first of all i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll bring this layer at the top and i'll change the color of this one to yellow go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect and double click to apply and press P for position, select this, right click and choose separate dimensions like this. Now select this and let's move this over here like this and then bring this somewhere around over here. I think over here looks good. Yeah. Then after that, right click new and create one null object and we will bring this null object somewhere around over here like this now select this and make it apparent with this null now select this and we will create one keyframe at y position zoom in and let's go somewhere around one second and create another keyframe at y position go to the start and let's bring this upward select this y position keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph first of all right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph Select this and let's move this handle over here. Select this and let's move this handle over here. So we will get this falling animation. 
and at this point i'll select this null object i'll press r let's create one keyframe let's go somewhere around 10 frame forward and we will rotate it like this let's make this minus 180 so we'll get something if i see this animation i'll get something like this and let's move this to five frames like this or let's say somewhere around over here okay yep i think this much distance looks good so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this now i'll select this i'll create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y then go somewhere around over here i'll select this x position and i'll bring this at this direction and i'll increase the y position let's zoom in a little bit like this and in middle of that let's make this fit and somewhere around over here then select those y position keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and this handle over here this should be over here and this should be over here so if i see this i'll get something like this okay then go few frame forward create again one keyframe at y and in middle of that let's move this again upward then go to the graph editor select this graph and hit f9 select this middle one move this handle over here and this handle over here like this so if we see we will get something like this okay so this is bouncing animation for this one now let's see okay now from somewhere around at this point i want this animation should start to animate first of all i'll select this extra one and i'll delete it and uh, hit u to minimize it select this one and this one and let's lock this select all of this and simply move this over here press p for position select the uh, position of each and every one first of all right click and choose separate dimension create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y go few frame forward and create another keyframe go to the start press s and create one keyframe also press r and create one keyframe hit u go over here again create one keyframe at scale and one keyframe at rotation now rotation i'm going to make it one complete rotation like this and go to the start and let's make the scale to five and go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically then uh, with the help of selection tool i'm going to move this somewhere around over here and in middle of that i am going to change the y position somewhere around over here like this okay so we will get something like this then in search option i am going to type y select those keyframes uh, and hit f9 like this go few frame forward create one keyframe at y again and in middle of that let's bring this y upward go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here select this move this handle over here select this and let's move this handle over here select those keyframes and hit f9 again select this and let's move this handle over here select this and let's move this handle over here this handle over here and this handle over here so if we see we will get something like this okay and now we want this animation should start one by one so i'm going to do that so hit page down button one time select this move this over here move this over here we need to animate it one by one so move this over here let's hit u to minimize each and every one hit page down button select this move this over here move this over here move this over here move this over here so if you see this animation now 
I'll get something like this. So uh, after that, we will select this O K T U. Let's select those stuff, and by holding Alt, I'm going to move this over here, like this. So if I say this now, I'm gonna get this kind of animation. And now we will select this, and we will de delete this fill. We don't need that and press F4 select all of them and enable the motion blur okay and now we are going to play around with this stroke or something and as you guys know this this is uh, taking a complete rotation over here so what we are going to do I'm going to select my ellipse uh, and let's choose black color and we are going to create one ellipse press ctrl alt home and select this and change move this over here like this okay let's go to the add menu go to the trim path and let's make this 50 and let's rotate it somewhere around 90 like this and simply move this over here now initially uh, let's make this start value 50 create one keyframe at end and one keyframe at start go few frame forward let's make this start value 0 and uh, end value also 0 select the start end value and let's move this over here like this so we are gonna get something like this so if you see we will get this kind of stuff also enable motion blur for that select this hit ctrl d press s and let's increase the size of it and change the stroke to somewhere around one select this and let's move this over here okay also press r for rotation and rotate it like this okay so if you see this now we will get something like this now let's select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we are going to call it as animation and hit ok and press ctrl y to create one solid background and bring this backward now right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect and double click to apply and we will swap this color now let's go to the start now select this and press P. Let's create one keyframe. I'll go somewhere around 20. Create another keyframe. Go to the start. Select this and I'm going to move this over here. I'll select those keyframes. I'll hit F9. I'll go to the graph editor. Select this and let's move this over here. And let's. Uh, this should animate somewhere around at this point like this. Okay, so if I see like this, or uh, instead of that, let's do one thing. Let's select and delete this. I'm going to go and I'll move this over here. Okay, and hit F9, and then go to the graph editor, select this, and move this over here, and move this over here. Okay like this then at this point right click new and create adjustment layer apply tint effect and swap this but this point i'm going to select my ellipse tool and let's add a white color or choose any color like this and i'm going to create one ellipse press ctrl alt home press t for opacity let's decrease the opacity and let's try to adjust this over here select this and move this over here press s initial scale let's make this zero create one keyframe go few frame forward and let's make this completely like this now press t for opacity and increase the opacity select the second layer press f4 and choose alpha mask now select this hit u select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we will move this handle over here select this and we'll move this handle over here okay so this animation should start when this ball hits the ground or what we call 
head of this eye so i'll move this over here like this and let's increase the duration of it okay so if i see this animation now i'll get this and then this let's increase the duration of this one also okay so if we see this in full resolution you will get something like this so this is how you can create this kind of logitech logo review animation